Hello everyone on YouTube, I forgot to put my headphones on. I'm going to put my headphones on now. I'm going to show you how to run the Fallout 3 EMS inside of New Vegas. EMS stands for Fallout, it's like a master file. I don't know what the S stands for. I'm going to show you what I have to get it working in my data folder. And a New Vegas is script extender. I have all this stuff. I don't really think you need MC, but you might need it. I think you might need it, yeah. I think you need all these plugins to get it working. Yeah, you need all these. Alright. There's another issue in Fallout New Vegas where you lose all your items. I'm going to show you that issue. You have to load Fallout 3 every New Vegas. Fallout 3, this doesn't really matter as much. Well, yeah, we're gonna click. Here's Fallout 3 right here. We're gonna put Fallout 3 on top of New Vegas. So Fallout 3 is on top of it. But that's the only way we can get to load when we don't have the subscript extender plugins. If you have all these subscript extender plugins, it fixes that issue. That's it. Alright, now I'm gonna get into the game. I'll be back. Let's start with the first issue, so you can't start a new game. Okay, click no. One of the issues, I guess. I hope it loads. It crashes sometimes. See, I don't have my items. I'm missing my items. Let me show you how to fix this issue. I'm back now. I kind of changed my rules into the description because people kept asking for download links and it would just be about one game. I don't just mod one game, I don't want it to just be about one game. I'm trying to be mean, but I don't want it to be about just one game. I made an update on that rule. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to fix it. Okay. What we need to do is load Fallout 3 under New Vegas. I'm going to load it under all the DLCs too. You got to load Fallout 3 under New Vegas. Alright. Also, a reminder. Let me show you. Real quick. What I have in this is script extender folder. Make sure you have all this stuff, all these plugins here, make sure you download all these. Make sure you have all these downloaded. I don't think you need controller support, but you probably need these. You need this one because it fixes the loading screen. You need fixing loading screen too, you need that. Alright, here's the component deals. You need all these. And you need the input text menu edit. That fixes some stuff. All right. Now it's time to go back into the game and see if it works. Okay, I'm back. I hope this works. I'm gonna try to start a new game. See if that issue's fixed. All right, it worked. Now, I'll be back. Now, I'm going to load the game. All right. Let's see. I have all my stuff. Yep. I have everything. Okay. Alright. The next step is fixing it to work in GEC, I guess. EMS. Work with the Fallout 3. You make it in this? Okay. Alright. Next. Next part is going to be Moppy Flash Wire. Alright, click Wire Flash. I probably need to put a link in that in the description. If I can figure out where I got all the plugins from, it's just I don't know where I got them all from. Alright, yes, it'll give you this error, because you're still loading it in the Fallout 3 game settings. I need to fix that. 
All right. Now let's see. You want to right click it, right click it, add master file. You want to add New Vegas, click New Vegas. All right. You want to go here where it says master, masters, click OK, and click save. All right. Now, this should, this should be able to fix the issue where you can't load these two together. You can't load these two in the GAC together. Fallout MD EMS and Fallout 3 EMS. All right. That should fix it. That's good. And I'm going to show you that it works in the GAC together. I'm now inside of GAC. Inside of GAC. Okay. Let's click File to Data. Oh, I'm going to see if they work together. They should work together. Right, I'm going to load it. Click OK. I'm going to click OK. Okay. Yeah, because this basically is a modified version of. This means they've been working on New Vegas since 2008. <laughs> People, yeah, they're working on it since 2008. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stop it, then I'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and load it. Okay, load it. It worked. Everything is loaded. All right. Let's see. Odd if you're in Fallout 3 is loaded in it. Yeah, that's what this basically is. We all know it's an updated, yeah. We're in a Vault 101 outfit, okay. I might have replaced the something a little bit, but I don't know if I did. I might have put the textures in it. I'm going to see. Oh, 101, yep, that must be, that might be inside the files. I think that's inside the files. All right, we're going to go over. Click. Yep, that's inside of it, too. I don't know if this goes up or something. No, it doesn't. Yeah, something that kept these files inside, but we all knew that already. We've been inside of this. All right, see I don't know who that outfit that is belongs to. I know that outfit belongs to. I bought 101 security. Yeah, you have to basically get the texture for that. It loads, it loads the same thing. It loads the same thing as that. But I know how to fix that though. It doesn't hard to fix. You should be able to. You should be able to fix these, fix this, and make it. Different from this one, you should be able to easily fix that by getting a texture from the ESA file. Alright, Tuxedo. Yeah, a lot of this they didn't have. Let's see if Tunnel Snake works. Gee, Tunnel Snakes are still in the files. That's something. What about Kings? Yep. I think Kings is a red texture of Tunnel Snake. Now, if you wanted to go back and make it look like the Tunnel Snakes were not born in the vault, you could take the King's outfit and do that. Just re texture it with the Tunnel Snake suit. Make it look like they escaped the vault. Alright. Alright. So that means you can load all these inside of it now. I've not tried Enclay to see if there's a difference between them. I think there is. I'm going to see. See, it left this Enclave suit in the files where I replaced it. I don't really know. I think I might have replaced it. I'm not sure. I guess they left it in the files. 
All right, that should be good for now. That'll be good. Okay. I just wanted to show you how to fix this. I hope this helps. Just remember, don't ask about one game because I'm a modder, not I don't just give out files all the time. I put that in my description. I changed it. And Xavier, you joke too much on YouTube. Your gimmick gets annoying after a while. Well, it's funny at first, but then it gets annoying. Xavier. I don't know how old the guy is. Oh well. Please like and subscribe if you want to. You really don't have to, really. Mm. I just make the challenge to help out with mod, and that's it. And give out mods. Alright, time to stop. Yeah.